welcome back to the channel today's topic is the future of coming age ai is coming of age embedded ai system with ai capabilities now being embedded at the device level specific task can be performed on device without the need to send data back to the cloud to run an AI model. AI models are run at the device level on the data captured by the device. Once science fiction is Hollywood films, artificial intelligence has become a technology that have that we have bought into our homes and workplaces to better our day-to-day -day lives. The groundwork is being laid for a more AI-enabled future, one where creativity is enhanced, productivity is increased, and the business beyond fast food end are always in operation. Let's look at the aspect of this topic. AI, as we know all that, is uh, applied to computers, robot, and machines that exhibit aspect of human intelligence and reasoning, such as visual perception, speech recognition, and decision making. To achieve these capabilities, AI works by processing data to identify those patterns, make predictions, and recommended actions on any given task. There is a Two categories of AI that is a weak and strong AI. Weak AI is limited to performing a specific function. This form of AI is anything but weak. It is highly intelligent at carrying out a task in which narrow scope. An example of weak AI include Apple's Siri, Amazon Alexa, or Google Assistant. These programs understand certain keywords and produce responses to command but can't quite discern the meaning of what was said strong ai is unlike weak ai which is limited in scope strong ai in general in its function it can perform a variety of activities it can process run and complete those tasks entirely autonomously independently currently there are no practical example of strong ai available for public use but plenty of applications are in development process in future we can see some of them in daily use in public aspect one area that strong ai will likely be deployed in its cyber security where by application can learn from previous phishing activity that make security prediction from current trends the subset of ai basically a machine learning and deep learning that is a, a single umbrella of ai why ai is a term to describe those machines that can perform those tasks machine learning goes a step further asserting that machine can also learn and adopt without being explicitly programmed or command it can learn from mistakes learn from past experience working experience and improve day by day for better performance enhance his skills ability to perform a subtype of machine learning a deep learning used an artificial neural network that acts similar to human brain to analyze those data and learn a key differentiator between deep learning and machine learning is in how the system learn and train for example if you were to short your photos on your phone you would need to present the machine learning algorithm with structured data 
the data that is sorted with identifier like dogs, landscape, and family. If you see the chart here, it is a gradual process of invention of AI, the first used by the famed computer scientist John McCarthy to define those intelligent machines in 1955 and then inanimate the first robot in an industrial capacity joined General Motors assembly line in 1961. In 1997, IBM developed those robots. Deep Blue defeats world champion chess player Gary Kasparov, which makes history. And Apple introduced the virtual assistant Siri in 2011 and 2014. Amazon launches Alexa, an in-home virtual assistant that can complete tasks and hold those basic conversations. Let's now move on to those application of AI in daily use currently in across the globe. The AI is around us with 77% of people using at least one AI power service at home or any workstation. Application like Google Voice can be used to transcribe those spoken words into written text with its automatic speech recognition. That application is also able to understand and translate to spoken words across 12 different languages. Natural language processing machines have reshaped those workspaces. Capability with application like chatbots and voice assistants. Businesses are able to interact with customers in real time, no matter the time of day. Additionally, autocorrect and email filters help employees send those more polished, mistake free responses to customers and clients. And next, you find those application that interesting in the construction industry real-time recognition have revolutionized those space making construction site safer and more secure the ai software processes video feeds to extract real-time data while monitoring those system leverage machines learning to uncover actionable insights to predict accidents and unsafe condition in home safety has also been drastically improved with the introduction of AI. Monitoring system and home security cameras have significantly reduced the number of hits and break-in with IP network cameras and door cameras that each incorporate AI forward facial recognition capability. Next, at the core of AI, chips supports the system. Cognitive functions of AI-enabled applications. These applications are compute and memory intensive and the continued evolution of semiconductor has brought AI into our everyday device. And next, the last final thing that is the industry is shifting to new strategies in such as stacking steep chips vertical using through silicon wire technology, PSV technology that's bringing high speed, high capacity and low power to high performance computing and AI with recent advancement in specialized Deep systems are being developed with embedded AI. Instead of AI computation and processing occurring in the cloud, all functions have been performed at the service level. Okay. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hollywood flames. Artificial intelligence has become a technology that has that we have brought into our homes and workplaces to better our day-to-day -day lives. The groundwork is being laid for a more AI-enabled future, one where creativity is enhanced.